Top, top, top. Three, two, one. Top, 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 top. Top, top Hill episode. 146. Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of the Top Hill Podcast. I'm your boy, Mr. Top Hill Pod, a.k.a. E-Money Boy. And I'm your girl, Jamila, with her own boss. And we are back, guys. We are sorry for the delay, but we are here. Definitely. Ready to give you guys another show, man. Uh, shout out to everybody that pulled up in the building. I see everybody in here. Shout out to everybody that pulled up on the live early. Was good. <laughs> shout out to Big Stunner T and G in the building, man. Was good, brother. <laughs> Um, yeah, man, we got a lot to get into today, man, you know, but before we get straight into it, Jamila, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> how you feeling? What's new with you? I feel good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, everything is good. Is good. Everything Life is, is good. good. We're going to see Drake soon, so that's yes. good to know. Yes. Yeah, so. I finally bought my ticket to Invest Fest, so that's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Let me give her a round of applause for that, man. Why are you doing You're that? Excited? Just planning. No, just planning stuff. Planning Logan's birthday in Disney. And yours. <laughs> I don't want to go to Disney for my birthday. Well, I mean, you'll be in Florida. It'll be some nice weather, you know what I mean? Yeah. That would be good. Sure, there'll be children there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but let me ask you this: because you brought up you brought up Invest Fest. What are some things that you are anticipating um, from Invest Fest? What are your ex- expectations? Um, I actually, you know, don't have any expectations out of it. Honestly, I just want to be around like like minded individuals and mm-hmm. just be in a, just a different environment. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, um, great opportunity for for networking mm-hmm. and um, getting to see other people who are like minded and uh, learn from some real um, dope people. Um, this is their third year. Um, I've been to every Invest Fest uh, that they that they came out with, and I just seen their growth mm-hmm. each year. And um, they're anticipating twenty thousand people this year. Wow! Um, to be in attendance and. Um, yeah, it's 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 going to be crazy. They got Diddy headlining. Um, That's really what made me want to do it. Yeah. Even though I feel conflicted when it comes to Diddy, mm-hmm. but I just try to stay, you know. Neutral. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? You don't get to where he has gotten to without, you know what I mean? They could, they, there's a lot of rumors and stuff like that, but like apparently he's going to actually dive deep into his actual business. and like. I don't think he's really had an opportunity or even a platform that really focuses so much on mm-hmm. his whole entire business from Bad Boy to Ciroc to Deli Brand now and, and all his other ventures. So it'll be really Some would even say it. the murder of Small. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. 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 Like it's just so crazy. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of rumors and he said that there's nothing off the table. So it'll be really interesting to hear. Nothing off the table. Yeah, yeah, like he he's gonna be he's gonna be completely open. So I'm I'm very interested to, to see that. Uh Robert Smith, the wealthiest black man in America, is also gonna be there headlining as well too. I saw that. Um I believe Steve Harvey's gonna be back and then the whole Earn Your Leisure crew. Um yeah, I'm just I'm really looking forward to it. I'm uh, I I'm yeah, looking forward to it. Um we've been going for two weeks. I feel like so so many things have been happening that uh <laughs> things I'm sure have happened. Yeah. But it is what it is. We're here today, guys, and um of course we're gonna get into uh the reactions and stuff like that. You know, everybody that's in the live, make sure you guys hit the like button for us. We really greatly appreciate it. Stunning TNG is hilarious. He says, Some just season though. What's good? <laughs> yes, man. I, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been seeing m- many sundresses um, out. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going on. People haven't here. really been out like that. Yeah, I sure feel so. like, you know, it's a lot going on right now and we're just not talking about things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I think everybody's just coping and just acting like maybe if we act like nothing's happening, maybe it'll just go away. Because nah. the economy is down away. bad, real bad right now. Actually, People yeah. are not spending. Yeah, Inf- inflation is a thing. I um, think that's what happened with Lil Baby. Ooh. 
Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna dive we're gonna dive into that as well too. Um, yeah, the economy is a thing, and I, I guess people are being more careful what they or what they're actually going to be spending on. No, um, it's running out fast. I'm telling you from personal experience, and mm-hmm. thankfully I can always just hustle a little bit hard. Like my, I can make more income mm-hmm. off of me. Thank God. But I'm right. telling you, we having to do more, and the money's going way, way, way faster for the same stuff we've been doing. And you know another thing too that that's coming down. You know the uh, I believe was it the house that denied the student loan. Oh, I saw kids. that. Yeah, uh, I was a little bit disappointed, ooh. but I couldn't say I was surprised. What I yeah. was surprised about, but also really not surprised about, is when Biden, you know, double back and was like, "Don't worry, guys, still gonna give it to you." He said he's not gonna give it to everybody. He's right, like, eight hundred thousand. Yeah, like, and I'm hoping and praying to God that I'm one of them. You already approved me by then. <laughs> I was looking at the list of, of, of people who, who might get it. I don't know if I fall under that list, but I hope I do. I hope I do. I'm but, claiming it because yeah. I feel like everything is reliant. Like, my li- only thing that I have on my credit now is that mm. it's my student loans. I mean, they're good and good yeah. standing, but still. Yeah. And I get both sides. It's just like, you know, you guys signed up for these loans. You're supposed to be responsible for them. Nobody signed up to be an American. We just have, <laughs> we couldn't control it. Yeah. At the end of the day, and yeah. you didn't give us any other real options. It's a lot of misinformation. Like, you know, a lot of people, they they think that the right path, you know, you go to college, you find yourself a good job, and mm-hmm. you might be able to pay your student loans. But a lot of times, people are going into debt, forty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt to get a Hundreds job. Hundreds if you're getting masters and stuff and PhDs. Right. And then a lot of these people getting degrees and stuff that's not making more than forty, fifty k a year. Damn, that <laughs> is just retarded. Yeah, I mean, like when you think about like like some of the most that's popular, a smart dummy. Yeah, yeah, that's why they say like people who are not um, just because you're educated doesn't make you smart. Educated fools. Yeah, that's so dumb. Yeah, because I mean, you got. And and this is not to hate on anybody that has these degrees, but you gotta think about it. Like, you, okay, you have a degree in communication or a degree in psychology, something like that. Mm-hmm. Those are really popular degrees. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people go or social or what's it, social work or something mm-hmm. like that. They get these degrees. You got not looking at what these jobs pay when you get out. So, you know, you're playing around in college, and then you stick around past the four year mark. You go in five, six years to get that degree, and then you find out that the only way to make some real money is if you get your master's or your PhD. Well, and it's like tricks you to. <laughs> <laughs> then they be going yeah. off on the teachers about yeah. <laughs> what they do when they press. <laughs> Left them no choice. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Um, so yeah, man, I hope you guys are preparing yourselves for, um, the economy, man, because yeah, it's, it's, it's going to get shaky. All right. Um, <laughs> it's going to get shaky. It's going to get shaky. It's going to get rough, man. Um, all right, man, let's start with, um, top hill, top hill.